<laughs> Shit. <laughs> How long have you been doing this for? Uh, uh, weeks. I knew you messed me up. You'll get, you'll uh, get the hang of it eventually. <laughs> yeah, I'll get there eventually. What Hello. I, I click, <laughs> click the wrong button. You can probably all hear me anyway. I don't know why I'm... <laughs> I'm live. <laughs> I'm just gonna go to main screen. Oh uh, no! <laughs> and compose yourself, Edward. Good evening. Uh, my name's Ed. Welcome to Daily Casts. Mr. Cowbird's just raided with a party of one. Thanks for joining, Sanjay. If you miss Sanjay's stream, Sanjay's been uh, oh uh, more more than one good. Uh, he'd been uh, drawing uh, alt art for Funhouse, and it was really interesting actually seeing it was it was not computer, it was hand drawn stuff, and it was very very cool. I was watching while I was cooking my dinner. Um, apologies for the slightly less than professional start there. Um, I am joined this evening by my good friend and wind up merchant uh, algebraic Ian. Good evening. Ah, oh, good evening. It's so nice to be on such a slick, uh, professional, well-run stream. Thank, thank you. Yes. Um, I've been doing this now for the last 24 days. Uh, and as you can see, I, I completely got the hang of the buttons, and I definitely didn't click end stream rather than unmute. Um, so viewers viewers are dropping by the second, in. so that's good. I might, actually, I might unfollow myself, actually. You might unfollow yourself. <laughs> don't, don't know. Yeah. I, need, I need those numbers. <laughs> yeah, I need those numbers. Um, it was actually, I had more viewers when I ended the stream than the viewers went up. And then I started again and then they went down, uh, which is entirely plausible. So just do um, that 20 more times and you'll be. I'll have a lot of. page. Uh, oh, mate, absolutely. That's how it works. That's exactly how it works. You just do 10 second segments. A thousand times. If I know how to extrapolate, which I do, then we quit in. We quit in. Um, in the chat, good evening, Game of Droids. I hear this will be a killer stream this evening. Absolutely. Thanks for the pun. More to come. Jen, good evening as well. Jen in the chat saying hi, Ian. Hello. Goshi, hi. howdy. Goshi's Mark, isn't it? I've deduced. Uh, yes. But, but I... I had no way of no yeah, Mark, I had no way of knowing that. It's just through like willpower and kind of mind reading and process of deduction. Uh Zeroth Maxima Phil, good evening as well, keeping quiet for the baby. Uh not shouting too loud this evening. Uh and our link ping, hi. And uh BNBN, hello, thanks for joining again. Ian, I was followed earlier. I say earlier, fifteen minutes ago, by Lazy Chef thirteen. Which can mean one of two things. It either means one of my chef connections has suddenly taken a keen interest in Netrunner, or there is a third cook in the Netrunner world. Which is more likely? I thought you were going to say there's at least, at least 13 lady chefs, but there's got to be way more than that. There's way more than that. Way, way, <laughs> way more. You see the size of some of them? The ones that, it's always the ones that have the big, the big hats are the ones that are a little bit you know, lazier, shall we say, and they walk around the kitchen tapping their spoon on the side. Um, oh, they're the ones with the wraps under the hats. That's it. it, exactly, yeah. And they'll have the neck chief, and they'll have the, the medallions that they've won, and you know, for, for absolutely nothing. You don't get medals for being a chef, really. Um, I, I haven't anyway. I suppose if you're an army <laughs> chef. Is that Ian on the line? Those, those uh, are different things. <laughs> yes, those are different things. Um, you Mark, winning medals and... Chefs winning medals. <laughs> I, I will have you know, I cooked at the National Chef of the Year Awards. Um, I heard you also got second place in a jigsaw contest. That's correct. When I was twelve. Um, would you like to hear that story, or would you like to hear the National Chef of the Year story? Um, I'm happy can... to leave it for the stream to decide. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's leave it. What we were was I cooking for the other chefs? I was cooking for the other chefs. I won't. I, I will take that as I want to hear that story. Unless no, no one cares particularly which story I tell. <laughs> so I'll go for that one. Um, I commie chefed for my. It's the same story. Imagine if it was the same story though. Jigsaw. What was the picture? It was a picture of a red tractor. 
um, in a very green field. It was a wooden jigsaw, about 500 pieces. Thanks for the interest there, in Interest, and thanks for joining. Um, Kritva is probably going to be uh, elevated to stream moderator. It's currently downloading all my videos and sending them across to YouTube for me. Incredibly kind. So, so are you super quick at solving Limes' spoiler then? Um, no, because I tried to do it on my phone because I was in the bath at the time. Um, so I had I had sort of soapy, foamy hands, and I was in the bath. So there's obviously that fear of dropping your phone in the bath, and the <laughs> app didn't work on your phone. Um, so no, unfortunately, well, the if one you thing. Get first place in these contest. You need to <laughs> I mean, go for these risks. Well, I if somebody take... turned up to a jigsaw <laughs> puzzle contest in a bath, I'd give them first place. <laughs> Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Rask, good evening. Uh, Ginevra, good evening as well. Um, Ginevra, on the topic of Ginevra, Ian, I know you frequent the Green Level Clearance Discord on a regular basis. Um, we've had a full revamp of the Green Level Clearance Discord today. We've set up new roles. Uh, have a look in the roles channel. Select your roles. Um, we can ping you for tournaments. We can. You can sign up for the new Gateway tournament for the startup tournament. Ian, did you know the Gateway Tournament has now over 100 people entered? Oh, wow. That is... That's, it's quite a lot, actually. It's a serious it? event. Yeah, it's a serious event. How is that? Like eight rounds of Swiss? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to make it quite brutal as well. So it's going to be eight rounds of Swiss, and it's going to be a two-day cut. Um, no, uh, it will be it will be five rounds of Swiss only. We're keeping it at five rounds of Swiss. It's... Just using the Gateway Beginner decks, so everyone's using the same decks. Um, five rounds, asynchronous, so you play one game a week, or one double. Do you have a less than beginner level? Um, yes, we do. It's called Join Green Level Clearance. Uh, take the new player role, and we set up mentor games for you with the new decks, with the new cards, and we'll do one-to-one -one, um, special sessions with you. Thanks for asking. Um, yeah, so that's really good news anyway, isn't it, Ian? Not that you ever pay attention to green level clearance, do you? So. Well, this is something I've learned during spoiler season, is that this, I thought the green level clearance was more just for beginners, and the more mm. and more I hear about it, it seems to be for everybody, and I, I should, should be inspired to uh, join in, but during should... spoiler season, there's so much information coming out anyway. So what's the novelty of getting a new article every day it's worn off and I need that fix again I'm sure I'll be <laughs> it's, it's the perfect time GLC <laughs> yeah GLC massive just, just when you need a little bit more hype um, Sanjay <laughs> Ed I have a supplement to my art inspired by gateway submission I channeled all my sadness and rage and frustration into it this has got to be something to do with um, Jasminder hasn't it Sanjay Sanjay's a little bit upset about Jasminder and Funhouse interaction. Because, you know, Jasminder can't avoid the tag. Ian. Oh, oh no, I didn't realise the interaction. I thought... <coughs> so you have to end the run. Yeah. Yeah, it's a problem, isn't it? <sighs> it's like a real problem. Oh, Sanjay sent it across. Jasminder's one of my Jeff. favourite IDs. I had a... Jasminder's one, one of your favourites. My first good result with Jasminder. So I've Where, got a soft spot for her. Why don't you why don't you tell everyone who doesn't know you, and they should, a little bit more about yourself, Ian? Okay, right. Um no, I, so I started playing Netrunner just when um just before Order and Chaos was coming out. So what mm -hmm. cycle was that? But I was um Order and Chaos. very slow to sort of get to speed. So okay. it was very much a case of I would, whenever a new data pack came out, I would buy that data pack and a, another data pack I didn't have. And over mm. the course of over a year, I finally caught up. So it you was less less friendly for proxies back then. No, um, yeah, 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 yeah. So I think I probably have a slightly slightly unusual route into Netrunner in mm. that I used to play a lot of competitive chess. Yeah. So I played chess for about 25 years. Mm. And I just finally, well, let me tell you something. The meta for that game is stagnant. 
and I got I, was, I got I got bored of the game. <laughs> so if you think think the, think I, the I, I, if, if you it, right, listen, Ian. If you think chess meta is stagnant, have you Google on Passant? What what's this? Google on Passant. Yeah, here we go. Inisiris, Inisiris in the chat. What's your opinion of on Passant? Is it too drastic a change? I can't see it catching on. You can't. You can't see it catching on. No. I think everyone. Everyone needs to Google on Passant. Um, and that's probably Othello. Good. Yeah. Mm. Holy hell! Holy hell! <laughs> <laughs> we got that out of the way nice and early, anyway. Oh, good. Um, Yes, I'm very bad at that. <laughs> didn't didn't feel too yeah, forced I at thought, all. <laughs> so Netrunner sort of filled a, ho- a gap for me. I didn't really sort of play a huge number of board games beforehand. Okay. I just sort of stumbled across it and just like playing competitively chess, and so playing Netrunner was the next best thing. And mm. after going back to university, I started um, playing chess again, and it was quite good to find that sort of playing Netrunner to sort of not. Help me lose all my skills from chess. I sort of kept the sort of calculation skill and sort of strategy and stuff. So yeah, it's nice. And you are, there's quite a nice balance between the two things. You've sort of you've sort of pretended that you're you're not, but you are quite good at chess as well. There, there's quite a few. Interestingly enough, there seems to be quite a few chess questions coming through the chat. There's probably probably more questions than I've seen um, <laughs> ever on my stream. But it, it's nice to see an engagement. Um, but you are quite good, aren't you, Ian? I'm reasonable. Yeah, I can hold my own. Mm. Uh, I've had a... I've drawn against somebody who's drawn against Gary Kasparov. That's my claim to fame in chess. See, I think that's really wild. That's very good. That's very good. Who was it? There's there's, there's probably better players out there, (laughs) even in the Netrunner community. (laughs) Do you think so? Yeah. Do you you think there's better players? Are there? Yeah, I do. Are there there better players in Bristol than you? Yeah, there's probably better players in Bristol than me. <laughs> yeah, no, how, are, are there better Bristol Netrunner players than you? <laughs> yeah, sadly. Are there really? Sadly, there's a. No. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not even the best at any of these games in this sort of local oh, area. Brutal. Uh, what's your top finish in Netrunner? Because I learned something new about you the other day. This is. I know this is sounding like a bit of a love in between me and Ian. I do apologise. It's because we seem to share the same hobbies uh, across the board. Um, and in slightly better at all of them than me. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm what current... you could become. <clears throat> uh, yeah, you know, it's like reach for the stars, set my heights high. Uh, yeah. I think I'm on a seven game losing streak in Twilight Struggle uh, as well. Um, can you ride a bike though? Uh, I can ride a bike. I don't remember the last time I did ride a bike. I'm sure you're better at riding bikes than me. So maybe I could beat you at that. I would love to uh, get into cycling, though. Yeah, I mean, uh, you last year, enough. last year you started watching the Tour de France, didn't you? So, uh, yeah, yeah, sort of being locked oh. in all day. <laughs> yeah, it's kind <laughs> of it's a very good thing to watch on telly. Yeah, now I'm quite keen to give it a go. Not yeah, the Tour yeah. de France, I mean cycling. Right, you could give the Tour de France a go. You'd be pretty alright. Everything else. Um, are, are you going to answer? I tell you what. Could you pick one question from the chat about chess, and then we'll actually talk about Netrunner. Um, We've, we've what, managed what to stabilise the had? numbers. Uh, there's quite a lot. Are you watching the stream? Uh, Tour de France isn't as fun now. <laughs> the cyclists don't rob wine shops. <laughs> <laughs> I'm clearly watching in the wrong century. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Outrageous. Um, <laughs> uh, was that really a thing? Yeah, I, I believe it was. I think I've heard that story before. Um <laughs> I know people okay. used to cheat, didn't they? Used to, like take taxis and stuff. Here's here's a two part question. Um, Quiver's talking about some uh, some AI chess stuff, which is a little bit too advanced for me. So let's talk about the chess meta. Um, Sanjay's asking how stagnant is the meta when they only recently disallowed vertical castling. And then a follow up question from Minitaris: How about castles? They've been in the meta a while. Good or bad for the game? Is the ban hammer going to come down on castles? Well, it was, was it, I think it was like 1972 that the ban on vertical castling came into play. Mm. And that's definitely a nerf since then. Yeah. Uh, 
Was it enough? Well, only the next hundred years will tell. It's a bit too early to say. If you had to ban yeah. one castle, or by one castle I mean two castles, would you ban the white square castle or the black square castle? So, right, left, right. Which one? <laughs> white is right. Square. That's not square there. I'm going to get us banned off Twitch for saying stuff for that. Uh, that's the right <laughs> square. Honestly, yeah. Honestly, that's what happened to Hikari, wasn't it? It's <laughs> exactly what happened. He said white is right and he got banned from YouTube. <laughs> Yeah, um, I, I like the I like the one that's supporting Ari the H porn. That can stick around. Yes, that's the, the one. The queen side one. That can get rid of that one. Don't care about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's sitting duck anyway, isn't it? D- half the time you don't need to use it. Most important thing actually is to just leave it in that corner, just to defend that corner for the later part of the game. Um, don't. Uh... That's why it's OP. <sighs> yeah, arguably. So chess solved. Moving on che- down to netrunner. So, yeah, I think we probably should. We've only been streaming for 20 minutes so far. Um, so, Ian, in the Netrunner world, I did ask, but you just completely ignored my question. Um, what What's your best tournament finish? Tournament finish? Uh, I have You've done won... quite well at a tournament, haven't you? I have won a regional. Yes. Uh, I think it was the last sort of FFG regional in Wales. So I... Mm. Still claiming the Prince of Wales title. That's, that seems fair. That's a title they can't take away from you. And I have top eight at UK Nats. What year was that? 2018? I believe it was 2018. I only found out the other day because I was looking at... Um, uh, who was I looking at? Aaron. I was looking at Aaron's finishes. And, you know, because that's what I do I was trying to work out if I could steal decks from four years ago and make them good again I can't um, and yeah hey, I saw her. Mr Gallagher top 8 very well done what were you on do you remember I think that must have been back in the uh, was it like freedom and score called? or something like that no it wasn't anything as cool as that it was the no. Oh jeez, I'm having a, a block. Clan Vengeance. Foul. Uh, Clan oh, Vengeance right. is the right card. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That makes sense. <laughs> and I killed a lot of people as PU as well. Um Oh. Nice. Horrible. Okay, uh, potential unleash just to yeah. sort of really lean into people who are willing to take uh damage for what yeah, have some more damage. Mm. So. Good. Well, top eight finish in the UK, and that's back when it was what 120 player tournament or so. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah, and it's underestimated your abilities. I underestimated your abilities. Uh, so at your I won't, peril. At my peril, <laughs> I won't apologise. Um, Ed, why <laughs> is your cursor sometimes a purple square? Because I've set it up to be a purple square. Um, this was we're going going back in time a little bit. Sanjay has just been streaming. And together, the stream created this rather beautiful funhouse altar. Just a reminder, everyone, that my good friend Sanjay now has a shop on Make Playing Cards uh, for your perusal. Remember, when you are putting in your gateway update, etc. orders, take a look (laughs) at Artist Colony as well. Not just for Sanjay's work, although I am commissioned at 25% for everything I sell. Um, but other artists that I'm uh, receiving commission from uh, if you DM me on Discord I will give you a list of the artists that you are allowed to buy from and the artists that you aren't allowed to buy from Um, so speaking of advertising Ian, while I grab myself a drink would you like to talk to everyone about this? okay, right yes, so I... I run my own blog. It's about the mathematics and statistics of Android Netrunner. I'll probably change the name a little bit now. But so I have a maths background. I did a degree in mathematics many years ago, but now I decided to quit my job to do a PhD in mathematics. So now that I'm older and wise, I actually know what to do a PhD in. I was quite pleased to do this. So I thought I'd use some of my sort of experience in sort of sort of data science and statistics, a sort of I'm trying to apply that to Netrunner because there's lots of interesting questions to ask there. 
Um, although lately, it's, <coughs> I used to sort of do things about sort of analysing the meta, analysing cards. But now it's a more... Um, there's been there's so much more data out there now. It's been brilliant. So, like, know the meta. It's a great website to sort of get a feel for um, what's going on. It's really well sort of organising. So all the things I was sort of doing at the very start is now being done there much better than me. Mm. There's all sorts of things like um, got like R and D interface also quite good. But there's there's loads of data like on Cobra and JNet and always be running. So it's it's quite yeah. fun just to sort of play around and. Uh, See what sort of fun things there. Although well, occasionally I do something a bit purer that may not be appeal to everybody, but some things that I enjoy. So interestingly enough, do you remind me, Mike in the chat saying he read the blog but he doesn't understand it. Um, I also didn't understand what on earth uh, Tuesday's guest Bar and we was talking about with these uh, mad synergies that he, he found. Um, Jen asking and uh, BCSJ with a kind of a similar question. What's your favourite statistic, Ian? Should I maybe pull up uh, this? I like, like the student T. Student T distribution invented at Guinness for, for them to do their sort of analysis of their ingredients. Right. And basically, normally you name these things after yourself, but he wasn't allowed to, so... <coughs> So this person who worked at Guinness got to name a very famous and very sort of very commonly used statistic that's even now frequently used. So I've, I've got a picture of me at the Guinness factory next to this plaque of the person who invented this uh, statistic. And I was probably the only person in that entire tour who had any interest whatsoever in this thing. <laughs> Everybody else was just saying, hurry up, we want to get to the, <laughs> want to get to the top. <laughs> the bar. Bar on the top of the elevator, yeah. overlooking the thing. I want to take that photo so, uh, at the top, my... and you're like, no, to full tour, we need to stop <laughs> here. I need to see my brass rubbing on this plaque. <laughs> yeah, so my PhD is in um, network theory. So I do stuff that's related to all sorts. It's about how things interact with each other. So how computers okay. interact with each other. Uh, I know not to do stuff like cybersecurity. We also do things like how proteins interact with each other to try and work out how uh, what best protein design are. And, uh, even yesterday, I was sort of doing, I was analysing passing networks between footballers. So I was looking at the oh, data from cool. the uh, Barcelona game and trying to work out can you infer the sort of ratings of players by how they pass to each other. So the, the picture you have there of is is one of the networks I analysed, hmm. and it has a nice structure. The colours show you the patterns. Communities. I thought it was a cool picture that kind of looked like Adam as well. So I thought it was a it nice, does. very suitable image for me to use for my avatar. I, I like these images <laughs> that people don't know what they are until you finally get around to asking them. Uh, Tolassin is another great example of someone with a, a picture that you've got no idea what it is, and then when you ask, it all makes sense. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, one for another day. Um, should we talk about Netrunner? Heaven forbid. Um, Go on then, let's. Yeah, so I got, yeah, at the moment, my the last the last post is by Bar Rambu. He was yes. on here on Tuesday. Oh, sorry. Yes, we, we sort of we sort of we, we we got distracted. Speaking yes. of speaking of fun articles. Speaking of articles that you should read, I can do this. I can copy here. I can paste here. That's the link. Save it for later, everyone. It's a great read, actually. In all honesty, uh, before I met Ian, I was reading this uh, a couple of years ago, uh, and as like quite a geeky, interested in statistics person myself, um, I was very interested in this blog. Um, if you're I try, interested, I try in to do of, it in a fun way. So yeah, I, I occasionally think there might be a fun joke in there. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a couple. The there's a couple in the history of the blog. Um, I actually, and this is a confession now, Ian, and and also what we like to call a segue, um, I actually did use one of your articles to write this article today, as you can see. Oh, wow. It says Ed. Um, because you did, a year and a half or two years ago, maybe more, a comparison chart of sentries and uh, killers. Yes, and break I did. Points. I, I, you did. And I pulled that my up. Analysis, 
that I I actually looked at this that again for today as well. <laughs> I did, did a you? little bit of preparation for the stream. Goodness me, Vern, two on two, getting a little bit salty that we haven't quite got onto Netrunner and it's been half an hour. Uh, Vern, good evening. <laughs> Thanks for joining. Um, <laughs> we, we are going to talk scoops eventually. Um, oh, yeah, I just joined. Well, do you know what? I was just pausing, waiting for Vern. Um, I played a teaching game with Vern yesterday, uh, which was excellent. Um, I won, uh, as I always do. That makes me 100% record in 2021. Um, 16 people were watching, and it was great. Um, and one of those statements is true. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yes, no, um, thanks for joining, Ben. Uh, Solomon here, preparation yeah, for the stream. So you've so yeah. you just missed the sort of intro chat and um, just the 25 minutes. But let everyone catch up and join in. Look at look at this absolute flex from Vern. Yeah, that was wonderful. We should do that more often. And I beat your standard deck with my startup deck for the record. Um, just in case anyone needed to know if startup was powerful, uh, a player such as myself uh, couldn't couldn't take down Vern's startup deck. Uh, so yeah, startup meta's busted as well. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> more bands to be done. Um, so yeah, today it is awesome. Yeah, no startups are really fun meta. Uh, everyone should play startup. Uh, everyone should play standard as well. I do hope that the calls. And I'll say this, this is my opinion for a change. I hope the calls for oh let's just do away with standard. I know people are being a little bit tongue in cheek, but standard certainly has a place and it has a place in my heart. And uh, uh, startup might be fun, but it's a good stepping stone, everyone. It doesn't mean it has to be the only net runner we play. Yeah, it's complete. It's a complete wild western one. So that's that's quite appealing. Mm. I've got no idea. I've been trying to write my blog today, but no idea how startup's going to look. No, so I've just ignored it completely. <laughs> <laughs> Someone else can worry about that. <laughs> um, uh, Vern, uh, good night, Vern. Thanks for joining. Um, I hope you catch up tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, the Harbinger all, all Arts Too Nice to Scrap Standard yeah I'm just going to continue what I was doing before I'm playing uh, Pawn Shop and Adam um, and hopefully that will work out a treat for me uh, let's talk about Sentries and Killers Ian I would like first of all could you rate today's article on a scale of um, the Killers playing at Glastonbury three years ago up to Mr. Brightside at three o'clock in the morning at university. Well, I, I did enjoy today looking at all these things that you've done. Oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> perfect. You had that written down in front of you, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> that was my only other note. <laughs> that was your second I'm sure note. I, don't let, I didn't think you were going to get. I didn't think you were going to let that slide. You were going to definitely mention the killers throughout this this uh, stream at some point, right? So uh, I have think to make sure I was ready with something to come back with. All day, all day. I, I yeah, I'm very very proud of myself for being able to copy paste the names of four songs into uh, <laughs> an article. Um, it took me a little bit too longer than I sh than I would like to admit to spot this, but I've got, I'm glad I eventually did. Yeah. It's indie shock that I was the worst one. Indie shock and roll was an absolute shoe shoehorn. <laughs> it was yeah, no. <laughs> it rolls off the tongue. Yeah, so I had to. So, yeah, I'll give it the three a.m. The three a.m. Oh of... wow, three a.m. Mr. Brightside. That's, I'll that's take a good that. one. Yeah. Oh, I know it's a good one. I know. <laughs> um, I had to rewrite this article uh, because I put Karuna, the century that we'd already seen. Uh, in Gentechi in the article I was allowed to choose whichever centuries I wanted and then um, a little bit of a mix up ah. so I wrote about Tithe instead which I hadn't really thought about um, so let's start with Tithe because you know, okay. why not because um, that's a random order that should hopefully throw you off your notes um, so Tithe is a one to res one strength century it's AP very important um uh, at two subroutines, do one net damage, gain one credit. Tides art's amazing. Yeah, I, I totally agree. Uh, 
Oh, oh it that... creeps me out a little bit though. It's like, have you seen those sort of mods you get for um, like Skyrim, where they change all the trees into big arms? You can't see me, but my no. arms are in the air. Uh, it, no. this is there's bigger arms coming out the floor, like tr- like trees, and it just yeah. really creeps me out. And this reminds me of that, and I kind of like it for that reason. <laughs> I think it's yeah, it's it's frightening, it's terrifying, and actually, it's it's quite thematic as well, isn't it? Grab, grab, grab. Um, it looks like Helping Hands Just from Labyrinth. Bit. Absolutely, yeah, it does. It does look like Helping Hands from Labyrinth. Um, is it good? It's not as cute as Pop, is it? It's not as cute. It's puppy, as Pop. but it's not as cute as Pop. Yeah. Um, it's not a cute card. That said. I think you're more likely to play this than Pup. Discuss. I think so, yes, but you're not likely to play Pup at the moment. I don't know. Uh, ice that pays for itself is quite nice. Mm. If, if it's going to fire and it doesn't cost you anything net, that's always going to be quite good. Um, Chris, Chris yeah, in the chat. Chris. Chris in the chat making, yeah, evening Chris as well. Um, Unlike Pup, the first subroutine isn't a choice. Yeah. But I don't know how you feel about this. I always prefer subroutines that make that make the runner lose credits than make me gain credits as a court. <clears throat> um, I was trying to sort of yes. think why this might be. I think sort of the element of surprise. The, sort of, the, the runner has the cards in their hand. They know how much money they have. And how much they they can present to have later, and being able to, as a corpse to sort of knock them down more than they thought they would be able to, is quite nice. Yeah. No, that, so that's a reason. It's a reasonable point actually. I it, part it, losing a credit rather than gaining a credit here. So. Yeah, because it it messes with breaker maths, doesn't it? Um, if you lose credit, tithe doesn't uh, mess with breaker maths in the same way, at least. Well, slot machine has both, right? And we all know how great that card is, so. Slot machine is very good. It has been said. Uh, tithe, tithe, probably not quite on the slot machine tier of ice. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I, I don't think anyone's suggesting that. That said, um, I, I actually think uh, Chris Dye made a really good point earlier today. Uh, he said uh, tithe wow. is very good ice, um, but there isn't a place for it at the moment. Yeah, it's the sort of thing. It's replacing pup, but no. That was playing pup anyway, so no, no don't want to play pup at the moment. But actually, it's probably quite good. But I don't know where you really put it. Well, I heard a very good point actually from Mr. Ed Fortune today as well, actually, about no. trying to tax out, trying to tax out Bacolta. Do we finally have enough good I slash see. reasonably good sentries to stop this? To sort of penalise the sort of the first game two. I actually made a really good point. have enough sentries. This is a really good point, actually, actually, isn't it? This is really good. Right. As a, we made so many points. One of them was bound to be okay, right? Yeah, he even a stop clock and all that. Um, <laughs> as a sentry, Tithe uses up Bogota's upside quickly. Um, someone in the Discord said, I disagree with what the author said here. Um, and I just ignored the comment. Um, meaning it can be very useful on the outside of a large server. It's very true, actually. Yeah, the problem is that you think, well, oh, wow, I can stop Bogota gaining its two credits back. Mm-hmm. And then you realise that Bogota's still very good, even <laughs> when you're not getting the two credits back. It's, so, it's still very good. Um, this this argument implies that you want to surf with two sentries, which is a little unusual. Um, but you may have enough now. That's not that's, that's, the point we're trying to sort of argue, but I suppose if you were going tithe into ballista, that could become problematic. Segway. Ballista is a five to yeah, It's the one you. Oh, oh, oh no no no! Oh hey yeah, king, king of segways yeah. Let me let me segue away. Uh, five to rest. Four, <laughs> four strength. <laughs> One subroutine, trash one installed program or end the run. And Rene Loop asks Monk, unsurprisingly, crass as ever, puts a hole in your rig and your plans. What is Loop on constantly looking for a hole everywhere? Ian, discuss. 
this is this is your canon and law, not mine. No, not quite my, unquote. Not any holes a goal. Loop Rene Loop Arsenal. Um, should we talk about the ice? So you're implying running into some purpose. Running into yes, I, I I don't know why of all people it's Loop that's you know. Anyway, who knows? It's a part in your rig, your plans, and your heart, and your heart, a hole in your heart. I don't think he's like that. Let's not let's not go down that route. <laughs> we've we've had enough of that Steve for this month. Ballista, Cambridge. <laughs> Steve Ballista, Cambridge. Is there a town in the UK called Ballista? Answers on a postcard <laughs> from Ballista. Um, what do you think of Ballista? I think it's near Worcester, isn't it? Ballista, Worcester. <laughs> <laughs> I I really like this ice. Yes. Uh, not as much as me. I we're on to my favourite. We're on to my favourite card in the whole of System Gateway. I think this subroutine is really sweet. Yeah, it's. Um, so I think the only sort of real, the main Wayland way of playing, I think, is going to be rush. Maybe with some sort of fast advanced tricks as well. But this is a pretty nice card to have for rush. I think you don't want too many of these high cost cards, but. So you might play a 1x or 2x of these. Mm -hmm. But you're not too disappointed if you see this incredibly early. Because it's, no. it's not like um, doing nothing. You can guard something, and it's still it's an end of run in a century, which is another thing they have to find the breaker for and get past. Yeah. Uh, I think... I can see it being a 1x or a 2x, but 5 is quite expensive, and then there's rush decks. 5's a lot. I think if you didn't have too big to fail... Printed, I think this card beat garbage. Um, but you do have too big to fail, so I think it's quite good. I, I, I like yeah. the fact that it, it's you know, the problem with Rose Turret is it hits you once, it does its thing, and then that's it for the rest of the game. This sticks around. Well, same mm -hmm. here. I think this is a. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, see, it's the same here. It's. Yeah, a runner's like like all life. A runner's only gonna let sort of team fire normally once, right? So, yeah. But and so, what's nice? It's nice that it can do is, multiple things. Yes, it, the f the first time it's trashing a program, and, and worth bearing in mind if there isn't a program installed, it ends the run, right? Just automatically, yeah. yeah. So, I know that sounds stupid, but like. It's not like trash program. Oh no, I can't. Oh no, yeah, you end the run. Um, so you might want to not res this immediately. You know, if uh, runner's putting on early pressure, uh, perhaps you want to save this nice little surprise for them later down the line. It's a good target for Marcus Batty. Aww. Yeah, sad. Um, I think that, I think that rig that rig shooter idea is probably out the window yeah. now for Wayland. There's Do you think it is? I disagree tag. with you. I disagree with you, but well, there's a there's a, there's a tagging. Out. You don't want you can't do it via ice anymore. I don't think there's the sort of tagging approach and retribution. But maybe mm. a, maybe a line, but it's a different style of rig shooter than what was around previously. Maybe yes. it works. Maybe it doesn't. But yeah, yeah. And I suppose if this cost a little bit less, then you could play rush with a rig shooter element. Um, yeah, well, this is when this this is where these decks are so this sort of ice is most useful mm. when you're quick and you've got and the runner's only got one breaker out. Mm. That's perfect. So I used to hate hitting uh, Hagen. Yes, in a, yeah. a, 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 especially in that sort of particular assignment, I just have one breaker out. I, I'm running first click because I'm not I'm scared about Fairchild three. Mm -hmm. Just trying to get some ice red somewhere, and oh, suddenly I've lost my econ for the game. I might have lost my yeah, Rezeki yeah. or something. Yeah. And Obviously there's a sort of similar sort of area where this is good against when there's just one program installed. And mm. yeah, maybe you're running Theros, and you can then do your retribution. So you have to worry about multiple uh, ice types trashing your rig. Yeah. See? 
Yeah. But, or a, a bowl that war. really works yeah, when you've got mid game. You need game. some sort of rush as well. Yeah, so whether that's audacity or whether it's dedication ceremony, I suppose, if you were going down that kind of route where you, you know, you have some kind of kill package in mind with the um, clearing house as well, you know, where yeah. you've got that, that you kind of fork in the runner. Then there's quite a few different options. Honestly, like I think all playtesters will agree that this was one of the most fun cards because um, you can use it. It's, it's only two influence as well. You can, you know, you can surprise people elsewhere if you wanted to rush out as HB and you stick a blister in as well. Um, it's a super fun card. Well, it's quite fun. I think maybe decks that used to splash Roto Turret might want to splash this instead. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's a bit. It's, it's, it's a bit more bite. It effectively does the same sort of thing as Roto Turret, but it's not zero strength. <laughs> did did no, it's not no. It's just, it's just very very something. Um, does CTM did CTM ever play Roto Turret? Or am I making that up? Not that I'm aware of. Okay, I'm making it up then. Maybe some. Yeah, there we go. Right, Chris is saying that's a good take in so like a high drag infusion. I like this person. We should have them on the stream. Chris, Chris is Chris is quite good at netrunner. Don't know if you knew that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should probably have Chris on the stream. Yeah, another time, another time. I will probably be carrying this on, though not daily, um, so I can meet every single person that comes <laughs> into the chat eventually. Um, so, well, I feel like I'm very fortunate and privileged to be one of the twenty-eight netrunners that you're willing to have on this show. I have uh, won a golden ticket. Slightly at more least a, than at least a bronze ticket. A couple of doubles ups, thirty one. I reckon I'm on, but then I took a day off. Probably that thirty. It's a round number. Um, yeah, my brain won't cope with numbers that they end at zero <laughs> five. Uh, <laughs> um, I can't believe when we also, when I was doing the scheduling of all people, I like coincidentally managed to schedule you for the day when it was my article uh, <laughs> without looking. I think I've been kind. Yeah, no, you're, you, you, you're very nice, actually. Three o'clock in the morning, Mr. Brightside. Oh. I don't know. It, sorry. <laughs> it, interesting. Two guests for the finale. That's absolutely right, Sanjay. We also had two guests on the Shadownet episode, and we had two guests on the Kvitvar and Spray Bizzle double take episode. Um, yeah. I feel like uh, someone from Bristol in your local meta, I feel like half a guest. Yeah. half. You feel like half a guest? Don't be yeah. like that. You're not even in Bristol at the moment. <laughs> You're like the other side of the country. Um, in America, question, and elsewhere around the world, is Mr. Brightside what you'd call a three o'clock in the morning song? Do I you, think it's known as a banger. A, a banger around the world? Mm. Yeah. I'm sure oh, yeah. if you suddenly yeah. went... If you stuck your arms up in any location and went open up your eager eyes at least yeah. five people would join in with you at 3am you reckon anywhere in the world yeah anywhere that's, that's interesting I, I might test that <laughs> that, that could be a good I little I would love to like, watch you test that a good bit like next time I'm over in Kenya <laughs> and I'm like <laughs> I've decided to go and uh, like do my donations at the school <laughs> in the middle of nowhere <laughs> like I just go coming out of my cage and see what they do. <laughs> Could be interesting. You never know. Um, they've all got Arsenal and Chelsea shirts, so who knows? Um, we call it an 11 p.m. at night song on the East Coast. 11 p.m. at night. What a sad state of affairs. Um, should we talk about some breakers? Why not both. Yeah, not both. Break. Yeah. Hey, you can play it at 11 p.m. when you leave the pub. Go to the go to the student bar and then play it again can't you you can have you can have that double I mean we've all heard it about it 300 repeat. times you can put it on repeat I, I've i definitely scream slash sang Mr. Brightside at 3am completely plastered good to hear Game of Droids Game of Droids thanks uh, for confirming my suspicions um, Carmen Carmen there was actually a little sweepstake going on earlier on uh, UK Slack uh Will, because everyone knew that Carmen was going to be spoiled today, um, 
and the question was, will the author reference Carmen San Diego? And I did a bit, unsurprisingly, of I'd be really interested if people could tell me a little bit more about Carmen San Diego. I've just had a look on Google and it looks very interesting. Um Good glove. Yeah. And uh yeah, there's a bit here, isn't there? Where is it? Oh, if you were wondering where if you're wondering Carmen. where in the world Carmen is <laughs> Sign me up. Um uh, <laughs> Well, well done for you, explaining it. I'm pointing it out to everybody. Yeah, it's really important. Um, <laughs> Grim, someone earlier, uh, was Swan, I think it was, was saying it's very important to point out the jokes and the clever things that you've done in an article um, because it shows how clever you are and it's called lampshading. Very, very important thing to do. So I hope it's uh, helped everyone. What? Uh, it's called lampshading, apparently. When you like, oh, look how clever I am as an author. This is the clever thing that I've done. Let me tell you all about how clever I am. Uh, is it named after like the thing where you you run into a room and put a lampshade on your head to hide? The sort of thing that Johnny Bravo would do. That sounds incredible. And that's why the TV Tropes logo is a lampshade. Wow. Oh, okay. Wow. Solomir. Undoubtedly the strongest killer in System Gateway is Carmen. Hmm. Sounds like we've got a bit of disagreement in the chat. Let's flip to Carmen. <laughs> Carmen is a five cost program icebreaker killer. Two strength. If you made a successful run this turn, this program costs two credits less to install. Interface, one credit, break one subroutine, two credits, plus three strength. The whole wide world, your domain, for law, your own free will. To influence. Is it good? Well, is it, yeah. I think I'm not going to be the first person to say that. The question is not, is it good? Is it, is it better than Picot? <laughs> yeah, and unfortunately. Is every, no. It's not, no. Uh, Should we move on? It's like... Good. But no, I still think it's, it's it still has its merits, right? I think I think the uh, the condition's pretty cool. I like that condition a lot. I hope to see more of it. If it's a successful run this turn, it costs two less for the storm. That's quite neat. Mm-hmm. Even then, it's still costing the same as Picolta. <laughs> yeah. So numbers are really important here. So if you double stack sentries. This is better than Bogota on second break pretty much everywhere. Um, Drafter being a notable exception that is quite playable. I don't know if you knew that. Um, yeah. Yeah. You don't but you can't compare to the second one, right? No. <laughs> that's like comparing the that's like comparing the infinite number break. Is it like saying, well, pawns are worth one pawn except when they on person, True. which makes them worth two pawns? At least two pawns, yeah. Yeah. But like, it's like when pawns do and pass on, it's like Neo from the Matrix. Yeah, yeah. It, so I think how like, OP he is. Actually, that's very true, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, the board just turns into strings of uh, Japanese food items, I believe it was. Um, and yeah. Uh, no, look, Commons, Commons are not as good as Bogota. I think, and I've said this many times, I think Bogota is going to be banned. Damn like, um, there's been a clear move by Nisei to print slightly more expensive ice and slightly more expensive to use breakers. Yeah, if you're going to do cool. that, you've got, you don't want to print cards that are second best, do you? Uh, no, oh, well, that's, a, that's a place for them. It seems to be different. Um, mm. Can't always be printing better or better cards. What's you know, that's the point of having the game prize that point. Um, but this this does line up well with some of the good ice, right? Mm. If you were to go back to my lovely chart that I had, do this, I had cancelled again. Uh, yeah, this is this five, five to break an Ansi, which is the same as Bogota the first time. So this, and that is the. Oh, look at that. I don't have any of that. I've on there. But, um, look at that. 
Peter Palooza, no, unfortunately, Anansi. Nah, I think that's, I think that's, I wrote that article before Bogota came out. Okay. So it's a bit. Yeah. But uh, yeah, but five to break Anansi is pretty good. It's really, really good. It's really, really good. And you play other... Carmen, you run a, you run a lot and play Leech anyway. Um, so myself and Ian are Anna's really good point. Myself and Ian are Adam players. So when we assess breakers, we assume one, we've only got one of each of the breakers in our deck. And two, um, we haven't got any MU for three quarters of the game mm-hmm. to put any anything out apart from breakers and the occasional multi-threader. <laughs> so this is why I was interested in though. When I saw this card, I thought, hmm, does this race Adore in the Adam decks? Mm. And this is it's like it's two infants as well. Hopefully it's three on a good day. Five, yeah. five on and it, it, it does better than Dore, pretty much across all the, ma- the sort of main pieces of the to see. So hmm. I can see this being played in my Adam deck. I don't know if you have similar thoughts. I mean, I just, there's a lot of slots in my deck at the moment. Um, I've lost Easy Mark, um, and I've lost well, Game Day. You, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I've lost Game Day. <laughs> so uh, I'm not really Beach sure party, what. Yeah. what yeah, yeah, Beach Party's gone. It, it's awful. Um, I'm not really sure what to do with Adam at the moment. Uh, but yeah, no, Carmen replaces Adore. Yeah, I so pres- I I presume. one of the main issues there was Tour Guide was quite nice to break with Adore because it yes. was free. Um, yeah. But that's not a problem anymore either, so. Yeah. But Adore had quite quite good numbers against the Nancy as well. If you had your. Uh, Six to break, isn't it? Six to break, which is and this is this is five. So this is yeah, it's better. Yeah, um, Itchy's Itchy's rotating. Yeah, there's been a few suggestions that there's going to be a, an Itchy style replacement. Interesting that we haven't. While we're talking about ice, we haven't seen an any HB ice at all. Um, I wonder it's why combo it's all now. saved. It's all combo. Yeah, you don't need ice for your combo. <laughs> yeah, that's why. <laughs> Step step one, save game changer. Step two, no ice in HB. Famously, the <laughs> faction that never needed ice uh, throughout the history of Netrunner. Um, <laughs> My prayers have been answered. Yes. Uh, yeah, Lev- Levkotet uh, made a funny point earlier that I forgot to read out, uh, which I will scroll up for because it was worth it. Ed lampshading about knowing the term lampshading. That was a very, very, very hot take. Um, uh, <laughs> it breaks strength 5 at the same cost as the first Bogot to break yeah exactly so this card is actually not too bad and if Bogota, uh was banned which it should be then um, this is not a horrible replacement for it yeah it's not bad at all not at all um, but you probably in faction still play Bogota and out of faction oh. Y- yeah. you probably have better options because you've got a different game plan um, with the exception of Adam would be my sort of lukewarm take uh, you can only really be lukewarm on icebreakers and the takes it's not really it is just a numbers thing right yeah yeah it's nothing too exciting you know where the numbers stand don't you yeah. and as someone who's based their whole life around numbers Yes, I, something I could. I, I something I trust. I, is it I something numbers? So when you when you look at last breaker, do you just sort of like Words, no. you, you you turn off all sounds, um, close the curtains, shut the doors, turn the lights down, stare at the card for thirty seconds, and then you know the numbers. I can look at card and I can pick out all the numbers straight away. Can you? You can you can see all the numbers. Yes, yeah, five there, one. It's like what? What's the best number on <laughs> Carmen? Like... What's the, what's the best number there? Uh, one, one is always the best number. You think so? One, one. <laughs> I, I, someone's once said to me that one's the I'm loneliest depressing. number. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, our final, our final. Let's save the best for last. <laughs> I had to actually write an article about this card. Um, Echelon. <laughs> Some people are saying this is that, really that good. Is a... Have I missed something? Himself. Have I missed something? Um, the art is very cool. Uh, Echelon, a term from cycling, yes. Ian. 
A turn from cyclone. Oh, yes. Echelon is... But, but, there's a, but they're not cycling. They're, they, I mean, they're not cycling at all, no. Clearly not, unless it's... Uh... I've watched the Tour de France. <laughs> you have, so I've heard. Weeble, good evening. It is a card. Absolutely, Weeble, Shaper fan, um, would obviously be hyping this up. There have been spicy icebreaker designs in the past. Faust, uh, I would say this is a spicy icebreaker design. Ian, would you like to read this card out? This is Echelon. It's a three-cost Shaper program, 1MU. It is an icebreaker killer. This program gains plus one strength for each installed icebreaker, including this one. I'm going to throw it around. Three credits for plus two strength, and interface is one credit to break one subroutine sentry. The beauty of open projects, each stands atop past success. It's zero strength, which is a bad number in this case, but there's only one influence. So you can have zero strength wherever you want. Can, can can you see any case? <laughs> right, let's just let's get to the crunch. Is there any case where you're playing this out of action? So, could you play this in Sunny and somehow install all your <laughs> cloud breakers and get oh, this up to wow. plus nine strength, plus ten strength? Oh wow, that's an incredible idea. <laughs> <laughs> this is an incredibly mean deck. It's the, and then the, potentially you would, you would have lost. You have lost your runner and court game in that time. And you've still We've got MU. You've still got MU for Palangi, and you've still got MU for Egret. You can paint yeah, brush everything. A few more program icebreakers as well. Get this up to twelve. Blimey! <laughs> it's terrifying, actually. Um, what sentries would that then have good breakpoints with? <laughs> that, uh, a surveyor on a six sight remote. A six a surveyor on a six sight remote. To what I was going as well. <laughs> <laughs> Yet again, Sonny, Sonny, rather than you know having the the five link um, <laughs> and just like walking through everything. No, 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 no. Let me start on my rig instead, just to deal with six six deep surveyor. Um, simply the onion bring us back down to earth this is very inefficient I agree even with two other breakers installed it just matches on efficiency with a Dore uh, with three virtuals installed um, yeah, so I which ones are the cloud so, so the cloud breakers are the sunny breakers it's G do you want to try uh, it's Sherman Striker or Shrike and Sherman again, why not? Sherman, Sherman okay. Shrike and Sherman. Um, uh, Sherman and Sherman are twins. Uh, they're, they're, they're called G1, G2 and G3 or something like that. Or GS, aren't they? GS Sherman, GS Strike, and... Even Sunny players can't remember what they're called. No, no. There's the the <laughs> one that breaks code gates, the one that breaks sentries, and the one that breaks uh, barriers. Um, and they cost different amounts. <laughs> um... But yeah, I would so love to get a good idea, but yeah, even in the best case, this is not good. In no. the sense of okay, when you've got three breakers out, mm. it's still not breaking things that efficiently. Like, so three breakers out, three strength. So, a Nancy is still costing you two boosts. So that's nine to break a Nancy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, so it's, it's nine to break a Nancy, um, which is I can only describe as problematic. Um, Bar and Wu, thanks for joining, and Sad Stuck, thanks for joining as well. Bar and Wu. Oh no, another is my, is my sound coming through okay? Is your what? Sorry? Sound coming through okay. Oh yeah, no, you don't know. <laughs> no. I'm just trying to thought. Uh, what do we do with this? We, we install multiple eekers. Right, this is what we do. Every century uh, that goes down gets rezzed. We put an Ica on it, yeah, or Ica. And then Echelon, suddenly you've got a, a world of icebreakers out there. And Echelon can just walk through and you don't need to use the 
hikers that are incredibly efficient once they're installed in an ice because you've got echelon. Um, I can't see any decent case to use it for using this. Um, at all. I, I, I did have a look, and uh, no, I can't. <laughs> Unless no. we get some zero MU breakers coming soon. Yeah. Uh, Nisei Fun, please oh, stop is, letting us. Is it us... six to break? Yeah, it's six to break with three install breakers. Sorry, not. Oh, with with it's three, nine when you've got two. Nine with two, six with three. Yeah, very reasonable. I mean, I did have to, you know, try and get people excited about this. It looks nearly as inefficient as pipeline. Um, not something <laughs> you want to hear. Uh, thanks, Weshon. Uh, to Kobe, Subsley. Yeah, do you know, like, there's ways to make this fine. Um, and it's not pipeline. What's the, what's the name of the new hardware that lets you install for one program to one less? So, oh, uh, DZMZ. DZ, yeah. MZ, DZ, MT2. So you can get that, the breaker and entry, breakers and eternal. Yeah. Then you have my plaudits, and you're also wasting your time in eternal if you're doing that. <laughs> yeah. Do, do you think, yeah, DZ Measy? Oh, DZ Measy is a great name for it. Yeah, DZ Measy. Me <laughs> Oh, we call it DZ. It's that sounds like a very British way of calling it. Something. It is DZ Maisie. Oh, DZ Maisie. So, Craig Cotney, I like it. I'm going to try and. I think I think a huge issue here as well that we haven't. Um, oh, DZ Maisie, Opti Mopti. <laughs> it's like the um, what they call the pearly queens and kings, isn't it? Deezy Measy Opti Mopti sounds like a song from <laughs> from Mary Poppins. <laughs> so, that's like <laughs> Dick Van Dyke ad lib one too many times. Um, uh, the problem is that Simul Chip is a very good card, and you really, really don't want to be playing Simul Chip along this, alongside this. Hmm. No. <laughs> no. I don't think you want to be playing this alongside many things, sadly. No, unfortunately. Um, that said, it's an interesting card. You tried. For sure. It is, it is interesting. Um, I applaud your efforts. Unity's quite good, and if there was support in the future for Unity, it would make sense to also run Echelon. Because then, look, it, you, you say it's 3 0, it's not 3 0, it's a 3 1. Well, 3 1. Technically yeah. correct. I'm claiming, I'm claiming I'm technically correct. Yeah. yeah. It breaks Drafter for 5 by itself. Um, and we were complaining that Carmen <laughs> <laughs> breaks Drafter for 3, so there's some issues. Grim with a really good take actually um, and it's something I was thinking of trying in Eternal so alternatively you can use it with Worm to get the ice strength down so you don't have the boost with Eteron it's a really really uh, good way of looking at things uh, Worm criminally underused in the Eternal format uh, and I'm not quite <laughs> sure why uh, but no really Thanks for that hot take. Hey. NPM8. <laughs> um, overall, we've now had a chance in Mr. Mr. Numbers himself, Ian Gallagher. We've had a chance to look at all the breakers and all the ice. Who are, do you think, the big winners and losers, factions-wise, with the new ice breakers and the new ice the new ice breakers as a whole, jeez, it's tough. Um, I think ping alone makes NBN a very big winner. Mm -hmm. um, and I think Funhouse is quite good as well. Yep. Break wise, I don't know. I think. Oh yeah, can, sorry. Uh, can you post it in the chat? Simply the onion. Can you post it? Um, simply the onions made a 
brilliant <clears throat> uh, comparison table. Um, oh, well, why are you asking me then? Well, I, kn- I knew that, but look, oh, just... you're, you're my guest. If I'd invited Mr. Onions himself on, then... Well, we I'm an academic. About... I like to stand on the shoulders of the giants before me. <laughs> what I need you to do... Wheel. I'm trying to... It, what I need it's you to do that. is take... Oh, look how beautiful this is compared to yours as well. Yeah, it's colour-coded. Oh, wow, yeah. Ticks. Do you want to do a um, <laughs> guest blog post? <laughs> yeah. That'd be awesome. Sim- Simply the Onion, if you'd like to do a guest blog post on uh, these numbers, uh, yes, your services are required, I would say. Um, but no, in all seriousness... Uh, really good to see. Thank you very much for this. Um, That's lovely. Yeah, lovely. Uh, although probably so we're still missing I'm... quite a bit of ice, right? We're missing all of HB, right? We've only seen one Jinteki. Uh, we've seen. Two. Yeah, we might be missing another Jinteki. We've seen one century, haven't we? Presumably each faction now, we're guessing, has got oh, two okay. ice per faction and there's two breakers per faction. Um, That's really I mean, nice. <laughs> it's really lovely, isn't I it? I like how high the, high the numbers get for Echelon. Yeah. <laughs> and the break go. averages around four or five, or three, Bad. four or five maybe. Actually, bad seven. numbers. 13. Bad number. Yeah, yeah. Look. The comparison. After image. But Golta. 2. 7. 4. After image. 13. Echelon. It's worse than Femme Fatale. That's shocking. Oh, jeez. That said, it doesn't... Look, a, pl- a plus side. It doesn't cost 9 to install Echelon. It's true. If you're playing nine to install Fem, you're not doing it right. You're not playing Adam. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, what? Really are nice. I like that table quite a lot. It's like it's good for doing some sort of game theory analysis, sort of thing. Which do- which strategies completely dominate others, and you can eliminate them off, and yeah, and you just go like right. This is this is my idea of a good time. <laughs> um, Archer, uh, still very relevant, by the way. Very, very relevant numbers here. Uh, in terms of code gates. I think we're just staring at numbers now. Ian, can you give me some kind of hot takes? <laughs> I'm just clicking on numbers and going, 10 is a bigger number than 8. Um, well, actually, I, I'm, I'm, I'm curious how uh, Ballista will compare to if, compared to Archer. If it will okay. yeah, no, let's have a fill the slot. Through. It's, not, it's not quite as punishing, but... It doesn't so cost door, an agenda to resonate. Same so. numbers. Seven and two Bogolta, I think, is a real issue. Uh, real issue. Thanks, Barry. That's all. Uh, I need to become a postdoc and get PhD students to do these number crunching for me. That's a dream. Yeah. You can maybe, if you joined the Green Level Clearance Discord, you could create a community event, uh, which we set up. <laughs> Uh, you can pick one of the buttons. There's the blue square, there's the green triangle, and there's the red circle. If you pick one of those buttons, uh, then you can automatically ping, just by using the emoji, you can ping all your friends and say, hey, we want to do some number crunching, and you can take a room, and everyone that wants to be there will uh, descend very very useful uh, the recent um, reboot tournament used that and the draft tournament used that so if you just fancy setting up a draft for 8 people jump in the GRC pick one of the buttons and you know just when next round's out use one of the buttons ping you don't have to you don't have to go through the trials and tribulations of trying to remember who's in your tournament anymore shout out to Jono for, for all his work on Cobra <laughs> <laughs> it's very good. It is very good. Um, have you got any analysis of these numbers at all, or are we just uh, uh, killing time? 
I'm pretty disappointed. I think I think well. we've we've not everything we've come from these. I'm actually I'm very disappointed you didn't get me on yesterday for the puzzles. The code break code gates and the coders. I think and, and the, the puzzle day. It, it was, was a missed puzzle opportunity. Day. It was a missed opportunity. Um shout out to Felix, who I know doesn't watch any Netrunner content anymore. Uh, Felix from the old Bristol meta before my time. Um before my time. Before your time as well. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. Um was from the Bristol meta anyway. And shout out to Felix for some great articles written the last two articles before today's uh denouement of the yeah, the end of the breakers. Uh chat are saying some things. We're gonna start a netrunner research group. So Oh, if I can get put, some sort of research grant from Nisei. You say that. I'll but, put that into my MWL application. When I see research group at the end of things, it does worry me because there was the European research group, wasn't there, within the Conservative Party. And then all of a sudden, uh, <laughs> we're where we are now. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, research group has possibly negative connotations with me. This being an apolitical stream. Um, <laughs> uh, look, right, hot takes. Winners and losers. We're rambling. Who are the big winners? Who are the big losers? Let's go. So, ice wise, I think, yeah, again, NBN. NBN. I think some of the Wayland ice is quite interesting. Mm-hmm. I, I still want to see more. I don't think, in terms of the runners, I think Adam's probably quite a, a winner. I think Adam's a winner. I'm gonna I'm gonna have Adam as my winner. Yeah. Uh, I think every other faction probably got better options elsewhere, yeah. but they're interesting and they're, they're at least in some cases. Like for start they are raising a question saying, "What should I try? I can play around one or the other." So, and that's good. Mm. That's what you want. You want these sort of uh, strange, strange yeah. Yeah, these, these uh, questions you want to be asking things to. I think James Problems James is James is right in the chat in the Barry and Wood is right in the chat in the criminal have got the best breakers here but they already had good options in place um yeah with Bogota yeah. and with Paperclip uh in faction uh so criminals probably didn't need better breakers <laughs> Paperclip's technically not in faction but as good as, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, right. I <laughs> didn't know. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, Cleaver's quite... Cleaver's was fun, but again, mm-hmm. it's not as uh, interesting. as uh, It's not as good as Paperclip. No, but yeah, it's got some synergy with the... Carmen's you know, not as good as... <clears throat> Carmen's not as good as uh, Bogota. Cleaver's not as good as Paperclip, but is better than Corroda. Um, yeah, talking startup. Uh, Sixteen to break Pharos is certainly an issue. Um, That's fine, though, isn't it? I think in startup, there's probably going to be quite a lot of Pharos around. People like big toys, yeah. Um, and sixteen credits to break a single piece of ice. I will tell you now, uh, dear listener, new player. 16 credits to break a single piece of ice is a bit of an issue. Um, so you might want to find tools in faction to make that a bit cheaper. Yeah, are we counting uh, Tranquilizer and um, Botulus as uh, breakers? <laughs> no, probably not. No, 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 in the no, way no, they no, are, really. Breakers in the, in yeah. The yeah. Yeah. Certainly. Tra- Tranquilizer's very, very nuts. It's yeah, really that's good. That's my favourite breaker. Mm. Yeah, it gets a counter to inst- on install. It gets a counter at the start of your turn. You can install it off simul chip. It's quite good. You got stew going. It's quite good. Yeah, you have. You have. You got a big <laughs> sausage. You got a big sausage pot going. As we learned the other day. Sorry, in case you didn't catch the stream, you think I'm being weird. A botulus is a sausage. Not to be confused with botulism, which is sausage-shaped. 
Apex gets through it for two cards. That's that's the nonsense we want. That's why you need <laughs> Baron Wu on these yeah. things. He should have done all of these days. Should have just done every day, shouldn't he? I think <laughs> mi- missed opportunity used. that I was there my blog the other day. Yeah, give him your blog, give him my stream. Um, <laughs> yeah. Is there anything else you wanted to go over this evening, Ian? Uh, I also want to briefly want to tell that we, today was something I learned today that is a because uh, Alan Turing is now being put on the fifty pound note. Mm. Yeah, that means you now your rotating Turing cards can now be used in shops for fifty pounds each. It's <laughs> incredible timing, That's actually. Um, all made one hundred fifty pounds after rotation. Yeah, and you're welcome. It's interesting that. Nisei didn't decide to ask Quinns to do any community content, uh, him being a former Netrunner player. They didn't ask Bad Publicity Crew to come back, although, nudge nudge wink wink, I've heard Hollis Echo may be rejoining the Netrunner world. Uh, they didn't ask Run Last Click to do a one off special. They didn't ask Bioken to do a successful demo of. Mayfly, but they did speak to the Bank of England <laughs> and asked the Bank of England to put out a commemorative £50 note of Turing a few days before Turing finally rotates and we enter the Amakao meta hey, that we've all hey, been was terrified Crick of. Was Crick on the £10 note at some point? Am I making that up? Was Crick on the £10 note? Was it was it was that mentioned at one point? Like maybe Watson and Watson and or Crick, and not Franklin. But they put on a ten pound note. Am I? Can you use? Can you use banknotes <laughs> as ice in the ultimate altart? Um, I, I think you can. I might be making and, up and, and and let me tell you, I'm pretty certain that Nisei are pretty chill about. Uh, what you can use as a proxy these days um, and if you did roll up Gutenberg must be on a bank note at some point right? Gutenberg's 100% on a bank note yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, Simply the Onion yeah, Euler's on a bank note as well and probably no. Euler's definitely on a bank note um, yeah. what else? Abniel had lots like of bank notes Queen's Gambit it's a bank note do you think it's possible to make a full deck of notes from around the world. Absolutely. I, can, I don't mean to sort of stereotype, but it's quite possible that there are pyramids on an Egyptian bank. Well, we've, we've had ashes. We've got bashes. Cashes is next. It makes okay. it all falling Cash. into place. It's all falling into place. And you say, doing the preparation for cashes cycle... Um, had to let the governor of the Bank of England... Sorry, this is from direct from Nisei... Uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? This is a hot take from Nisei. There's a pyramid on the American notes. That's correct. There's a pyramid with the eye in it. That's right. Um, from Mike Through the looking glass here, people themselves can confirm we did need to pull some strings for that. Had to let the governor of the Bank of England, Mike, I believe, lives in Cyprus as well. Uh, a currency tied to the pound had to let the governor of the Bank of England spoil some bashes cards. Wow. Turing reprint. Turing 2.0. <laughs> okay, so maybe don't spend your Turing cards as £50 notes yet. Maybe wait a little bit in case, in case they come back. If you did want to spend your Turing £50 notes on Netrunner, and I'm sure you all do. Here's an idea for you, and I'll be talking more about this tomorrow when I'm joined by my very esteemed guest. We're on the Euro now, mate. You piss off. I was about to say, <laughs> I was about to say, I'm joined by my very esteemed guest tomorrow, Man Verapti. You also know him as Mike. And Mike wants to talk to you about something. And I'm going to copy the link here. And I want you all to click on this. And you're going to click on it. 
you're going to fill it in without reading it and then you're going to press OK. And that is an application to be a ban list tester. <laughs> because at the moment, we need more people to work out whether Bogota should be banned or should definitely be banned. And I'm just one voice in a sea of people <laughs> saying, but this card is a card that we designed so we don't want to ban it. That's not the take of the standard ban list team, by the way. I think everyone wants to ban it. Um, but it's probably a little bit more complex than just banning one card because I don't think I like it very much. Um, but why not join the ban list team? We will be talking about this more tomorrow. Maybe this is just something. You also entered into a Ooh, raffle raffles. to ban one free card. Wow. Please join the ban list team so we can keep MT dead. <laughs> Well, I think that's a terrible idea, Solomir. My first, if I was, and I'm not going to lie, I've applied to be head of ban list testing, and I'm the only person that's applied. Um, my first two unbans will be Garin and MT. I need to say president, I'm not going to allow that. As, oh, have you applied to be Nisei president? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, the rumours. <laughs> the rumours have started already. Um, boo Gagarin, boo you, Mark. Um, so that's the place I go whenever I lost against Deck on Jane that I didn't like. Simply the Onion. This is exactly what you do. If your name is Elemental and you don't enjoy losing to certain cards and enjoy winning with certain cards, why not join the ban list team? And you can choose with a group of people. You all have to interact with other people without saying... I say good game, but I mean bad game. You will have to jam 100 games of Game Changer, unfortunately. The plus side is that you get to shape You're the meta for the it. future. I am. Yeah, you get okay, to shape no. the meta for the future. And that is so fun. Burying the lead there. Um, oh, the elemental call out. I have yet to earn a good game from him. I think I got one once. Under a pseudonym. When I lost. <laughs> In turn two. Um, yeah. Ian, is there anything else you wanted to talk about? I think we've wasted enough people's time already. I have a <laughs> sneaking I have a sneaking suspicion that people actually for some reason quite enjoy this content. And I think oh. you're starting to get the hang of it. It's taken three and a half weeks. Um I am confident now that I can start a stream with either or headphones or microphone working. Orbital, thanks for joining this evening. Elementals, an asshole and all, but he's no divorced dad. Um, I don't know his marital status. I, I wouldn't <laughs> care to comment, um, but divorced dad was a bit of a twat. Um, <laughs> Can we just get more bashing of random JNet accounts? Um, if you go onto JNet, I would automatically ban simply the onion as well. Uh, quite horrible person. They only play Spombo and they play PU. They label their games beginner friendly and then play PU. Uh, Museum of History edition. Ah, so beginners don't know they're banned. Nice. I like it. That yes. makes a lot of sense. Yes, exactly. Oh, there's a lot to I learn from this content. This Mr. Jaynet Mr. Handle <laughs> Shaming. It wasn't meant to be Jaynet Handle Shaming. It just kind of drifted in that direction. Which makes me think it might be time <laughs> to, to wrap up. To get up, more wine. To get more wine. You've run out of wine, haven't you? Um, it's your move on Twilight Struggle. For those in yes. the chat, <laughs> Thank you for before we wrap up, is that a homebrew? Stuff you've yes. done all month. So, it's been sorry. Yes. It's been a highlight of it. It has been. Just a final shout to the chat. This is homebrew. And it's very drinkable. As long as you don't drink the last bit, uh, it's really rather good. It's a mild from the from the black country, which is basically where you are, isn't it? It's north of the Watford Cap. Ian. Um, I made this myself. What, you came in Bristol? I made this. You're not in Bristol, though, are you? Um, no. 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 So it's from your homeland of not the south 
and <laughs> it's quite delicious. And the actually. least northern tab of northern there is, so yeah, I'm very unfair. oh, look, oh, it's safety third. Drop, stop, drop, and roll play. What kind of beer? It's a mild. It's a five point two percent mild um, homebrew. I brewed it for <laughs> twenty four days. Wild. Um. And then it's been bottled for three and a half weeks now. And it's really like the yeast has just faded off it. It's very delicious. I haven't lost the bottle yet. I'm very proud of myself. Um, some really big smiles in the chat as well. If you come to my house, I can't let you in and I can't give you one because of COVID. Uh, <laughs> but I can drink one in front of you and you can see how happy I am <laughs> drinking it. Bushy in the well, chat. Is well, this a spreadsheet stream? Well, that's I sounds think lovely. We've suddenly started getting lots of people joining. Um, is there something else we can talk about? You probably want to go to bed, Ian. Uh, you probably want to make that's your move on Twilight Ed's house and have a party. Sure, come over to mine. See, this is back in the day, this is what it would be like. Um, <laughs> um, Let's we'll just go around and drink outside his house. You can all jump on uh, on James's <laughs> bike, can't you? Uh, stop, stop, drop and role play. What kind of... I, I hope... I hope that was yeah. The stream doesn't end until three AM. Mr. Brightside. Um, I Ed, why don't you sing us out? Stop, I was just we'll trying to answer in. a couple more. We, I will do, but I just want to answer a few more people that I haven't seen in the chat before. Stop, drop, and role play. What kind of beer is it? I've answered your question. It's safety third, an Adam reference. Just got back into Netrunner and ran against simply twice in a row. That's not very fair. Not. Nice for anyone. Um, on that bombshell, that bombshell, and I hope this has been useful for you for writing your blog in the future. Um, thank you for joining me. Oh, thanks uh, for having me. It's been lots of fun. It has been lots of fun. Um, I look forward to meeting you finally in person and playing some Park Runner. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Yeah, Remember to stick your coins in your sleeves. Have a good night. Oh, what a thing. <laughs>